today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. I had a request to do something with a red lip, so I decided to whip out my Lorac Mega Pro palette, just do some neutral eyes, which I know I've done a fair few neutral eye looks, so I hope you guys don't mind that it's kind of the same on the eyes, but I used a few darker colours in the outer V and I lined my waterline for something different. And then I've paired it off with this bright, corally kind of red lip. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any requests for future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! So I am starting out with my eyes today. And I'm just going to prime as usual with my Painterly Paint Pot to create a nice smooth base for our eyeshadows. Then I'm taking my Lorac Mega Pro palette and I'm taking this colour called Fawn and it is like just a nice bone shade, it's very neutral and I'm just packing that all over my eyelids up to the crease. Then going into the colour called Sepia, this is a nice warm toned brown, I am taking a fluffy brush and I'm blending that right through the crease and I'm blending it quite high up into the crease as well. I wanted this look to be very warm and very blown out so I'm taking it quite high. Then on a small smudge brush, I'm just picking up the shade called Espresso and I am packing that onto my outer V. I started by just applying it to my lash line, but then I decided I wanted to pack the shade right into the outer V and make it quite dark and smoky. So here I'm just taking a blending brush and just blending that shade out and then I go in with a clean blending brush right now and I'm making sure that all my colors are nice and blended together. Then I'm taking the black shade and on the same little smudger brush I'm just using that to really define my outer lash line. I'm not taking this in towards the inner corner, just the outer V. Then I just take a stiff synthetic blending brush from EXO Beauty and I'm just making sure that all my shades are nice and blended. As I said, this is like just seriously such a blending look. So. Add more colour, blend it out, add more colour, blend it out until you get your desired effect. Then I'm taking the colour Cashmere and I'm just using my finger to press this onto my lid. I was actually going to leave this look as a matte look but I decided I wanted something nice and bright and neutral to add a pop of shimmer. So I'm just pressing that all into my eyelids where up until where the darker colors meet and then I take a blending brush and make sure that the two colors blend in nicely together. Then I'm just taking my Rimmel Cold Pencil and I'm tight lining with that and then I'm going to lightly smudge a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of that eyeliner along my lash line and then use my smudge brush to smudge it out. This is just giving me a little bit more depth as I wanted the look to be nice and smoky. Now I'm just curling my eyelashes, applying some mascara, and then I am going to put on some false lashes. I'm using the Red Cherry 747Ms, which are one of my absolute favorites. I trimmed them so that they were my size, and then I plonked them on my eyelashes. Onto my face, I'm taking my new Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer and I'm spreading that all over my face. Not too sure what I think of this primer yet, but I'll let you know how I go. Then I'm going to mix my L'Oreal Lumi Magique Foundation and my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. The reason being is the Lumi Foundation on its own is a little bit too dark and I wanted to add a little bit of lightness and a little bit more of a yellow tone to it, so I added in my True Match. So I'm just going to blend that all out with my Real Technique sponge that I have wet and I actually love this foundation combo. It lasted all day and it was really, really nice. To 
Conceal. Surprise, surprise, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. I'm dotting this under my eyes and then a little bit down my nose and blending it out with the opposite end of my sponge. And to conceal any blemishes or marks on my face, I'm using my Balm Time Balm Concealer and I'm just using a Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush, I think this one is, and I'm just buffing that into any red areas and any blemishes so that everything's nice and covered. Then I'm using this Becca foundation stick. I had only just got it, so this is my first time using it. I was a little unsure about the color, but I'm actually loving how it turned out. So as you saw, I just drew a line where my contour is, and then I take my EXO Beauty angled brush, and I'm just buffing that product out. And here I just go back in with my sponge with no additional product just to make sure everything is blended together. Then I'm just taking some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just popping that through the center of my face just to set my concealer and my foundation. And then I'm taking this bronzer from Rimmel and I'm focusing this more on my cheekbones rather than where I just contoured. I just wanted to warm the face up a little bit and I'm popping some down my neck, around my temples and all of that good stuff. And this is where I realized that I really like that product. So now moving on to blush, I'm using one from The Balm. It's a baby pink color and it's matte. So I'm popping that on the apples of my cheeks and then I'm highlighting with this Models Prefer highlighter and I'm packing that on because it's a pretty sheer product. So you can really pack it on and just get a beautiful glow with it. So I'm putting that all through the center of my face and the main points where I want to highlight. Back to the eyes, I am going to be lining the rest of my waterline with that black coal that I used before. So just lining the rims and then I go in with a little angled brush and just smudge it all out. Then I'm taking this color sepia again and I'm just really buffing that into my lower lash line because I wanted the lower lash line to be really smoky as well. So I'm just doing that to both eyes and then I take the espresso color again and focus that on the outer half of my lower lash line. Then just taking a blending brush and blending everything out. Then I just take the shade Vanilla and I'm using that to highlight my inner corners. It's super pigmented as you can see. And then I just pop some underneath my brow to highlight my brow bone. Then I'm just adding a coat of my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara to my bottom eyelashes and the eyes are finished. Up my lips, I'm just using a lip scrub from Lush just to exfoliate any dead skin off and then I pop a little bit of my Nivea lip balm on before I apply my lip liner which is this beautiful cherry red colour from Max Factor. So I'm just lining my lips and filling majority of them in. And for my lipstick, I'm using this one from NYX. It's a beautiful neon, corally orangey red shade. So I'm just applying that over where I put my lip liner and yeah, just making sure it all is in a nice, neat line. I'm just taking a concealer brush and a tiny little bit of my concealer just to carve out the edges and make sure it's all neat and tidy. And after that, we are finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Please like if you liked it. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.